Assalamu alaikum. Good evening to all. Uh, once again, uh, thank you so much for joining us for our uh, computer course, uh, basic computer and networking. Uh, today we are actually the third class. Uh, we have completed first and second. Uh, and next class will be our last class for this course. So uh, we have roughly around 120 students that has registered. Uh, hopefully uh, next couple of minutes uh, uh, remaining will join as well. We'll start the class for today. Let me share my screen. I hope all of you can see my screen. Yeah, can see. Yes, yes, can see. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Once again, uh, welcome back to Basic Computer and Networking mm -hmm. course. Uh, uh, my name is Nazmul Khan. Um, I am the course instructor uh, for this. And I was uh, with all of you for last two class and I'm going to finish today the third class and hope to complete the next class as well on the next week, next Tuesday. So I'm um, uh, uh, English hey, puro course to continue korbo, but in between, uh, you know, I might speak in Bengali uh, for our Bangladeshi friends. Uh, but if you have any question, in, you know, you, you are feel free to ask in English or Bengali. I'll try to answer. So uh, this was our banner. I think uh, for those who are new, um, I think you might have seen this uh, banner. Okay, the course are organized by Twenty Four Asia, supported by Ministry of Manpower. And it's actually four days course. If you see in the middle, uh, zero uh, day one, uh, we actually uh, have learned about the computer fundamental. You know, when was the first computer was introduced? You know, the how does computer looks like server, PC, and so on. Then second day is uh, Windows administration and installation. We have learned. Today is the third day. I will learn about the networking and web hosting. And the next class will learn about the server security and production. So this course is conducted over the Zoom. This is the link. And it's every Tuesday, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Okay. Uh, if any of you actually uh, scan this QR code, you can directly go to our 20 official learning center Facebook group and please join that group and you know encourage your friends to join so that in future class you will actually get to notify as well. So again, uh, this is with the way we structured this course for anyone, including those who are beginner, uh, they will learn. You know, there is no prerequisite for this course, uh, you know. Uh, every is a four lesson, uh, every lesson 120 minutes, and you are expected to spend around two hours after the every lesson, okay, to submit your assignment, and that includes 16 hours. And uh, sub assignment the giveaway submit Corbin. Here is the URL. Uh, you know, you can just go to this URL link, uh, tinyurl.com slash 20 official submit. And once you go there, you need to submit the assignment. Okay. So, how does assignment look like uh, before we start? So this is our journey of our 24 Asia. We started 2018 and over this time we have done many things. So I won't repeat this. Yeah, but if there is any one of you who wanted to join us as a volunteer, uh, please you know, uh, feel free to ping myself, uh, me or any of our team members. Okay, you can join as a part of the journey with us. So um, the certificate will be looks like something like this. Okay, for those has uh, will be completed all four course and all four lesson and submitted all four assignment so uh, what is the assignment so assignment is every class you have to make sure that you listen from first to last you cannot just join and switch off the camera and go to the kitchen okay in the past you guys have done some of you so but uh, you know for this class is very exceptional so you have to really listen carefully okay and there will be many contents is not there in the slide okay which i'll be speaking to so you have to memorize those so you have to use a, a writing pad or notepad or diary, whatever you have, something like this. And you have to use three color pen, the red color to use the module header, the module one, something like computer fundamental, and the, all the modules from module one to module 13. Then we have a blue color pen. I mean, you have to use the blue color pen to use write the subheader and the black color pen for the description. So every single class, you have to write this note, hand note, maybe page one, page two, page three, whatever, uh, or even page five. And after you have finished that, take the picture. So let's say, for example, you have written three pages. Take the picture of these three pages and go to the, that URL to submit. Okay. So the handnote is something like this, maybe, you know. So uh, you will have a diagram, you will have a handnote, all those. Take the picture, go to this URL. This is the page. 
write your email address, phone number, you know, details, and the course, you can just select the basic, you know, computer and networking. And then uh, the hand notes, you just attach the file at the below, there is a, you know, uh, the assignment description or assignment details, you have to write the assignment number 03, because today is assignment number, uh, the, uh, today is class three. So for this today class, the assignment will be 03. For the second class, it should be assignment number 02, and the first class, it was assignment number 01. Similarly, next class, uh, once the class is finished, you are expected to submit the handnote, take picture, upload to here, and the assignment details should be written as a assignment number 04. So that's the assignment. You can take handnote with a writing pad, okay? Uh, you know, something like this, or you can also upload to your cloud Evernote. This is a Google Cloud, I mean, the cloud-based uh, note application, which is actually a hybrid, you know, physical node and the, the soft node. So I use this uh, over the last 12 years, and this is very useful. Uh, but those are not familiar, please make sure that you are at least familiar with this hand note. Hand note, you need to draw the diagram, you need to draw you know, all those uh, uh, correctly, then take a picture. So the hand note must be quality hand note. You cannot just write an offset paper, and after that, throw the offset paper. It has to be a writing pad or note or diary. So uh, this is a 12th module. Actually, there is a 13th module that is not there. At the end of the fourth class, we'll cover one more module as a bonus, which is module 13. So on the first day, we have gone through the fundamental, uh, these three uh, module. The second day, we have gone through another three module, more on the uh, you know, operating system, installation, file system, you know, software installation. And today is the day three. Uh, we'll go through the basic networking, you know, cable termination, domain hosting, you know, and different type of network and topology. Next class, we'll go through the cybersecurity. Let's jump to just recap what we have seen in the previous class. Uh, on the day one, we covered the computer hardware, software, PC. You know, we covered the what are the different type of computer, first generation, second generation. You know, what kind of device or IC was being used to you know those computers. Uh, we have learned what is the input device, output device, you know, uh, how does the processing power works. We have also learned, you know, if you wanted to buy a laptops, what are the key considerations you should consider? You know, how do you differentiate the laptop memory, CPU, and, you know, the, the flash card and the performance, okay? Uh, we learn how to do the assembling and what are the different type of parts. Like, for example, laptop has, you know, a couple of the parts, uh, you know, how to do the assembling. And similarly for the PC, uh, what are the different type of PC, bus speed, RAM, hard disk, CPU that we learn. We learn about the servers. Okay, there are different type of servers, x86 and Wix processor server. We learn, you know, uh, how the server looks like and what are the key differences, server and PC. We have also learned about the storage. Okay, it could be SAND or NAS, you know, or whatever the storage it is, or direct attached storage, and how this data is been written to the hard disk. Okay. Uh, we have learned about the different type of processor, x86 processor versus RIX processor. You know, like for example, your mobile smartphone has a processor, your laptop has a processor, your PC has a processor. What are the different between these all those processors? And also operating system. You know, your mobile might have an Android. You know, your laptop might be Windows. You know, if you have a server, it might be running the Linux. Okay, those we have discussed as well. The, they are in the market, the AMD and the Intel processor are most prominent and was key differences that we learn in the past class itself. Uh, the keyboard as well, the OS partition file system, you know, uh, partition magic that we learn. It is a memory test, you know, that's all about the first class recap, okay? So now in the second class, let's do a recap what we learned in the second class. We learn about the systems, uh, how to do installation Windows 10, how to do install on the Linux operating system. Uh, we have installed the Ubuntu, okay? We learn about the VM virtual machine. How does, you know, the cloud looks like if it's, you know, if you set up a cloud on your laptop, okay? Or if you set up a cloud on the three server in a data center, okay? And, uh, you know, if you have a two data center, how does two data center looks like? Maybe one is at a Kalang, one is Ayaraja. How does data center do data replication on the cross site that we discuss on the second day as well, okay? We have also learned about the different type of cloud services provider like Amazon, Google, you know, what they sell, what are different type of services, cloud services, and, uh, you know, uh, inside the systems, uh, you know, what are the basic things that we need to know in terms of the maintaining the system, system health checkup, file system, common line interface. 
I have also gone through how to add users, how to access to the team viewer to the remotely, you know, how to do the file, uh, the, the administration. And we have also learned a different type of file system, uh, software installation, software remote, and, uh, you know, uh, the file system cleanup as well. So uh, that's, uh, we have done lots of uh, labs on the second class. Uh, for those you have missed, please make sure that you have go through the video, okay, that we have uploaded to the 24 share YouTube channel. Uh, and we did a memory test, okay, uh, for second class as well. And now we jump to the third class, okay. But before uh, we jump to the third class, uh, again, uh, for those who don't know where to find our uh, previous class, you just go to the YouTube slash 24 Asia TV, okay. So once you write, uh, you know, YouTube slash 24 Asia TV, you will directly go to our YouTube channel, okay. From there, uh, okay, so the most easiest way is go to the playlist, okay. Uh, by the way, I can see many of our students has not subscribed. I would like to request, please go to our YouTube channel. Uh, I will uh, give in the chat panel again right away. So can I request everyone to go this link and subscribe our channel? Uh, and once you go to the channel, you go to the playlist. Once you click the playlist, you will see there is a playlist called uh, training. Okay. So click the training. And once you actually click the training, uh, basically you will see on the right side, all our training is here, all. Every single, including the, you go all the way below. Uh, this is actually our, I know, uh, we have a video editing class, we have a safety workplace, safety class, we have a PowerPoint class, Word, Excel, everything is there, including latest, uh, you know, a computer fundamental. This is the two class actually. So once you go there, uh, please make sure you subscribe and actually you go through the enter video. Okay. It's around two hour class. We have recorded and uploaded. Okay. Anyone uh, still have not subscribed to our channel, please uh, go through again and subscribe the channel. Okay. Let's jump to our today class uh, is already 923. Okay. So today class, we are going to learn about networking. ওয়ার্কিং <laughs> 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 So, uh, but before we understand network, you know, uh, we have to understand the standalone computers. So, that money standalone computers the key. Standalone computers, uh, you know, it, it could be a desktop, it could be a PC or server or laptop that is use its own, you know, uh, the connectivity uh, or LAN or one, but the connection is not active. Uh, that means uh, a PC or a laptop or a server does not have any connectivity. It could be LAN or wireless. As long as there is no connectivity, it's called standalone computer. Money of Japan, a computer as a shake computer, a LAN card, cast corona, Wi Fi cast corona. You can say, even after we use the dongle, the internet access put the sana. So that's called a standalone computer who doesn't have a connectivity to any other external component. I mean, external and other uh, computers or internet. Okay. So that's called a standalone computers. Okay. Now, uh, what is uh, then you know uh, networking concept how this networking concept actually came so networking actually is a particularly is linking the computer device together to you know with the hardware and software that supported data communication across the device uh, means what so networking actually is connecting to multiple computer and device over the network so if you just connect two laptops with a direct cross cable or state cable does it call network yes it does because it's connected to device, right? After do it a computer shut there, do it a PC shut the John direct a lap will cable that cross connect for a connect for when that's also known as a computer because it has connected to the two device. As long as it's connected to the you know, uh, two device or more, uh, is is called networking. Okay, then networking has many benefit of why pe people actually configure network, you know, why the network is needed uh, because network has many benefits like for example uh, if you actually connect one computer with another computer you can do file sharing 
ঠিক আছে আমরা যেমন থাম ড্রাইভ দিয়ে ফাইল কপি করতে পারি উইথ এক্সটার্নাল হার্ড ড্রাইভ দিয়ে ফাইল কপি করতে পারি উই ক্যান কানেক্ট অ্যান্ড উই ক্যান অলসো কপি দ্য ফাইল ফ্রম ওয়ান ল্যাপটপ টু আদার্স ফর এক্সাম্পল ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ ইন্টারনেট টু এ ল্যাপটপ ইউ ক্যান ইউ নো গো টু দ্য গুগল ইউ ক্যান ডাউনলোড লটস অফ সফটওয়্যার রাইট বিকজ ইউর পিসি অর ল্যাপটপ হ্যাজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি কানেক্টেড টু ইন্টারনেট দিস ইজ অলসো কল নেটওয়ার্কিং and this allow you to download many software and data from over the internet so the file sharing is one benefit uh, printer sharing apnar jodi dui ta computer thake ingle ekta printer thake sei printer ke apnar dui ta computer sathe connect korben if you have one printer and the two pc you can share that single printer with two pc or even you have a 10 pc but you have only have one printer so you can actually share that one printer to across the 10 pc okay so this is called printer sharing Okay, there are many ways to do that. You can directly to connect it to the one printer to your you know, uh, network switch if they have a network uh, LAN adapter or if it has a USB, you can connect to one of the laptop then actually share that, you know, uh, the uh, printing services to other computers. So the other computer can go through this laptop to print it. Okay, so there are many ways to share printer. So you can also do internet sharing, you know, if you have uh, one PC or one router Uh, that has internet let's say for example star hub and then in inside you have a laptop pc mobile all you are using same internet through that router so that means you are sharing the internet okay you can play a game with multiple user uh, there are apnar to onek games ache jemon amon onek age road race kheltam is a motorcycle racing uh, games that actually you play uh, together with my you know three or four friends all connected to the network then actually you play you know the racing uh, or uh, nfs5 Uh, those days uh, you know we play games over the network you can also use the voip services a uh, voice over ip uh, you know if you have internet or networking uh, ethernet uh, audio video sharing uh, you can actually share your video with multiple computers okay mane hocche amar ek friend er computer onek video ache i can actually access that video from my laptops as long as they are connected on the same network okay single management so we'll go through the single management so there are mainly two type of network one is called work group one is called domain so what is the difference between work group and domain okay let's jump to next slide jara apnara hocche hand note druto lekhte paren na tar proti ta class e screenshot rekhe dien apnader hand note er subidharte for those are you know very slow for handwriting or hand note taking you can take a screenshot then later you know you can actually write your own hand notes when you have time okay let's move forward so uh, there are mainly two type of networking that we see uh, or the fundamental networking one is called word group one is called domain so what is word group what is domain a uh, word group hoche is a peer to peer uh, connection with the two or multiple you know uh, computers within the same uh, you know switch or hub Uh, but and everyone is playing the equal role okay tar mane hocche apnar sob gulo pc connected a switch and everyone actually have equal rights so that's actually a sort of work group then what is the domain domain a network is such a way that apart from all the pc laptop you have there is someone who is managing everyone okay so there is a one server who actually is managing all those laptop pc okay from one single place okay or we call centralized place for administration so that's known as a domain network okay so there are many way to do that uh, you can do it with a windows you can do it with linux in the windows we call it active directory in linux we call actually radius server or ldaf okay so there are many type of uh, networks that are available you know or uh, is being used based on the different type of characteristics uh, if is it you know personal area network also known as pan okay the the pan is one type of network uh, there is another one is called local area network uh, l a n uh, you can just see uh, every word actually the first alphabet is taken from the short name uh, or acronym so local area network l a n lan so uh, lan is the most popular network okay uh, where we use uh, then there are campus area network this is more on the campus building like university school they use it uh, metropolitan area network is man uh, there are certain city who actually provide a fiber optic broadband connection they use metropolitan area on short called man uh, wide area network uh, wan uh, wh what is wide area network wide area network actually is a combination of multiple lan we will see shortly 
Then there are stories air not or sand, which we have actually uh, learned about the previous class. And there is enterprise private network is also known as EPN. And the last one is called the virtual private network, so VPN. So the mostly commonly used that all, I think all of you know is basically LAN and VPN. So these are the two terms that you will hear almost every other day or every other week. So we'll discuss more on By that. Domain hosting, uh, key, domain hosting. Uh, domain hosting. Class, uh, man, the class. Uh, the class. Uh, uh, so uh, let's go back to the LAN and one. Okay. So earlier I share LAN. LAN is actually a local area collective of device, you know, connected together in one single physical location. Uh, something like, for example, uh, a switch connected to this four uh, PC plus one laptop plus one server. So this is short of LAN. You have a small office at maybe Ubi and maybe you know 30 to 50 or 100 computers is all connected with the multiple switch with that one or multiple server. So this is considered as a LAN, okay? Then what is one? One is wide area network, okay? When you have a multiple office with multiple location, like for example, Changi, City Hall, Jorong, you have a three branch office, Maybe see Changi, you have a 40 uh, computer server, you know, City Hall, maybe you have 150 and Jorong, maybe you have 200. So all connected to the switch, connected to the firewall, connected to the router and through the internet is connected to a VPN, virtual private network. Then these become a wide area network. So within the officer mode, building mode, when you have a connectivity of all those, you know, device, PC, laptop, you know, then it's become a LAN. One is actually when you have a multiple buildings in multiple location connected to the one single network. Okay, so that's like known as a one wide area network. So there, there are way uh, to connect this. Uh, so you can use uh, uh, the normal internet broadband link, like for example, Starhub, M1, you know, uh, uh, and uh, Singtel, they sell. Uh, there are uh, IPLC circuit you can use actually, those are dedicated link. Uh, there is, uh, you know, of um, dark fiber link that you can actually connect for multiple. Uh, and there is a, a SD1, okay, uh, that you can also use to connect your multiple branches. Okay, so now, uh, how do we design our network? Okay, we understand the characteristics based on use case, it could be domain, it could be uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, peer to peer. So now, if we design, uh, you know, uh, if you wanted to design a network, or you know, how do we design it, and based on what? Uh, so basically, there are network design is based on the topology. Okay. So topology is how uh, these devices are going to be connected with, how this device is going to be use case. Okay, and uh, what kind of uh, you know, uh, protocol that we are going to use to transfer the data from one PC to another PC or one server to another server, okay? So that's known as a uh, topology. So there are different type of topology available. Uh, so uh, there is one called bus, okay? So bus topology is basically a straight line where multiple devices are connected here. Uh, there is called a star topology, okay? Uh, so star topology are like, for example, a centralized switch or hub that is connected to the multiple device like a star. Uh, there is a ring topology. Uh, so uh, ring topology is something like this. If it's at a multiple zone, geographic location, let's say for example, is Singapore, okay? You have a location from Changi, uh, you know, maybe uh, Marina Bay Sand, then you have a uh, Pungul, and you have a MOQ, Oldland, I mean, across the circle. And those uh, multiple location is actually connected with the, uh, it could be a ring topology that you can use for those case. Or you can use the mesh. Uh, mesh is uh, any star. These two are mostly uh, used network or topology that we use in the network. I will tell you why, okay, shortly. Then there is another topology called tree, uh, but very less use and point to point, okay. Uh, the older days when I connect my laptop to uh, my, you know, uh, maybe a friend laptop or my, you know, wife laptop, then it's, uh, it's a two single PC or three single PC directly one by one connected. This is called point to point. So mostly use uh, topology are star topology and mesh topology. Okay, so when you actually connect to that the office, okay, the earlier diagram I show you, the all the switch, uh, I mean, the, all the PC, uh, uh, your modem, your printer, everything is connected to the one switch or hub, then actually form as a star topology, 
okay then where do you use the mesh topology okay mesh topology is very interesting uh, when you wanted to connect uh, or you wanted to create a network with singapore to bangladesh to india to hong kong to australia to thailand to brunei hong i mean the china and maybe even uh, usa so what happened actually you have a enter country right and multiple countries so you can have a one path from bangladesh to singapore you can have another path to singapore to malaysia you can have another path to you know uh, singapore to india maybe chennai and then you can have another path from anybody uh, like for example this is bangladesh bangladesh might be connected to you know singapore bangladesh might be connected to india then india might be connected to you know uh, nepal or maybe sri lanka or uh, myanmar then maybe connected to the china so it's actually multiple so one to many is known as a mesh then uh, why uh, this is mostly wide area use uh, you know mesh because in the event that one link fail let's say for example the bangladesh to chennai link has failed so that bangladesh to you know myanmar to singapore to australia to hong kong all other country you can reach so because it has a multiple path to connect it to a multiple country this is why it's called mesh topology when you connect to the whole world is actually mesh uh, sorry someone is using annotation if you don't use that i think it will be good thank you okay then uh let's go back to the fundamental about the media okay uh, ethernet and media so what is ethernet okay uh, ethernet is basically a, a, you know a network media where actually the uh, the cable is terminated okay or connected so and uh, how do we actually connect uh, those cable and what kind of cable do we use if you see on the right side uh, okay uh, the first one you see on the below here you see the rj45 uh, male connection uh, you know uh, this is rj45 female connection so basically the network cable that we use is basically a network cable and in front or the, at the end this is a connector we call it network connector or rj45 connector okay so we also have a rj11 so this is a rj45 connector and when you use the you know um, call phone line or call tnt line okay uh, we use this kind of uh, soft uh, small cable and the connector are much smaller than rj45 so this connector is known as a rj11 okay so this is a crimping tool you can buy from the simlim square the tools is around 25 dollar to you know 100 dollar depend on the different band and characteristics and each crimping tool has a some common fundamental characteristics uh, this is small uh, you know a crimper uh, connector so uh, basically uh, uh, for the any tnt cable or for any you know uh, telephone cable you can actually crimp it using the smaller one this cap is designed for the rj11 for the bigger cap is designed for the rj45 okay then how do we actually crimp it and connect it normally this cable the tnt cable or you know uh, telephone cable has actually four pair but network cable has actually eight pair okay so this is how this eight pair has been shown okay later i will show you a video here how this uh, you know eight pair cable has been connected so every cable has a name and has a color code okay like for example number one is a white green you know number two is a green number three is a white orange number four is blue number five is white blue number six is orange number seven is white brown and number eight is a brown so later i will see how this cable looks like when we actually unpair it okay i'll show you that so basically so all those cable we have to you know unpair it uh, tear it out then we actually have to connect it with the uh, this uh, connector and after that once we put it inside the connector we'll use the crimping tool to crimp it i have a small youtube video that i will show you as well okay so apart from this so this is a crimping tool uh, very commonly worn uh, so below there is a cutter you can use cable to cut so but mainly for the terminator you know uh, here is a rj11 connect uh, uh, you know connector to crimp this is a rj45 connector to cream okay apart from this uh, we also use a fiber optic there are different type of fiber optic is available so there are uh, called uh, st connector okay there is called sc connector there is a lc connector okay so i have given you pictures so to understand what is the difference so the fiber optic cable are same but the connector are different so this connector is just round color and has a you know medial light so just to like uh, let you know that for cable 
is actually data transmitted for the UTB cable or whatever cable, even the electricity cable, data transmitted over the wire. But fiber optic is not a wire, is a light. Uh, if you ever get a chance to see the fiber optic cable, you take the cable and look at the middle of the uh, you know, uh, connector like here, then you will see there is a red light showing. So the data has been transmitting over the red light. Okay, so that's all about the fiber optic. That's why the fiber optic, you know, uh, are actually uh, you can use for a longer, you know, uh, for connectivity where UTP cable has a limit, uh, you know, up to 100 meter. So these are the different type of connector, but it's still cable is still the fiber optic. Okay, only this one is a different. This is called the infinity band connector. Infinity band is mainly used for the storage connectivity with a shorter form factor. Okay, so uh, this is the network cable. Uh, you can have many different color, orange, red, green, yellow, blue, or purple, but it doesn't really matter. All the cable are the same, you know, and uh, the cable, these are the all, uh, we call it RJ45 connector. Okay, but this, all those network cable has many form factor or many characteristics. So in early days, it's become a, you know, uh, category one cable. So now those cable that we are using, either is a cat5 or cat6 so what does it mean means is the category 5 cable or category 6 cable but still both cable has exactly the same eight pin uh, you know or, or eight uh, pair of or four set of pair actually the cable okay so now uh, earlier uh, here i have shown you actually uh, what is the difference with the cat5 and cat6 basically cat5 the data transferred only 10 mbps or 100 mbps where CAF6, okay, is usually 1000 Mbps. So the CAF6 cable, nowadays we use everyone or all, every company, they use CAF6 cable, no one actually use the CAT5. And CAF6 cable has a special thing at the middle. Uh, I know this one is really like a, a plastic uh, with the, I know, uh, the iron actually uh, wire inside, which make this cable a bit harder, okay? And this uh, cable, the, the insulator is also a bit harder compared to the CAT5. CAT5 is a bit soft. So CAT6 cable, because of the characteristics, because of insulator and others, it can transfer the data up to 1000 Mbps, okay? So now you know the difference about CAT5 and CAT6, okay? So now, uh, the, but both has the same, uh, you know, uh, eight, uh, four set of uh, cable, or each set is two. So basically eight pair of the cable, okay? So now uh, you might have seen uh, that even there is eight, uh, you know, pair of this cable, but basically uh, four cable are used for data transfer, two for receiving and two for transmitting. Okay, and what about other four? Other four cable are used for power if you have connected those cable to a PoE switch. PoE switch means power over ethernet that means within the same cable you can transmit the power and you can transmit the data then where do we use it if i connect to my notebook do we use that no we don't use because your notebook is still need a power cable right but if you go to the cctv there are many cctv doesn't have a power connection it only have a one ethernet port okay for those type of cctv or those type of long distance or outdoor you know equipment including the uh, air, you know, uh, wireless access point. Uh, if you go to the, any of the university, you will see on the top ceiling, there is an access point is hanging. So those kind of access point use this kind of uh, you know, uh, data plus power, both together with one single cable. Something like this CCTV, you know, it will have one single uh, cable that actually connected, uh, you know, depend on the duration. Then it goes to the, you know, maybe uh, the cable to the terminator is a power connector uh, the, and data switch connector and power connector, okay? So basically two, you, uh, two plus two is four use for the power and the four use for the data, okay? So in the same cable, you can transmit network data plus power, okay? So uh, these are the different network devices. Uh, this is modem, USB dongle. This is a NEC card, we call network interface card, okay? There are some network card have a multiple network port, something like for uh, there is a network card we use called QZ quad gigabit Ethernet. That means there is a four port in one single network card. Okay, uh, this is a repeater. This is a hub. Basically, it's connected to multiple uh, device. Okay, but this is an older generation. Data transfer is very slow. 
Nowadays, we use actually a switch, and this is a Wi Fi router. I think everyone know. Uh, Breeze we use a long time back to, uh, for the connectivity for the two network segment. And this is actually internet gateway uh, that we use, but we use nowadays more on firewall. Okay, so these are the mostly common device that use. Uh, again, uh, this is how the uh, UTP cable connected. Let me just go back to my video to show you uh, how this uh, you know uh, network cable is connected or crimp, you know, in order to uh, let me just go back here. So many of you might have seen those are working in the data center or office, uh, you know, how to crimp uh, a, a network cable uh, uh, to uh, with a connector. Okay, but today I will show you a small video. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I have share the sound. If not, I need to reshare again. Stop share. Share with sound this second screen. Yes. Uh, let me know if you can hear the voice. Let me play the video first. Video. Can you hear the voice? Modular eight pin. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Let me uh, reduce it. So basically, uh, let me off the subtitle. Okay. So what do you see? This is a Cat6 cable. Okay. And this is a RJ45 connector. Okay. So here there is an end cap. So he will put the cap first inside. Okay. Then uh, he will actually take out the insulator, the cover. Uh, slightly, you know, cut it so that make sure that, you know, uh, inside uh, cable is not bent. So he just take out the insulator. Then you will see at the middle. Okay. Uh, at the middle, actually, uh, there is, you see this one. Uh, this one actually is just a protector. Okay. A protector of those uh, cable. So he will actually cut this one as well, okay? And then uh, there are actually uh, four set of pair, okay? So each uh, pair actually is a two cable. So uh, he will actually cut it a bit bigger to make sure that you know uh, he has a sufficient space. Now he's used actually cutter to cut the uh, insulator again, okay? And he just used slightly uh, to cut this so that the the top insulator can be actually take it out. Okay, I will show you shortly. So he's actually cutting now the uh, you know to the the insulator, the overall out, outside insulator. Okay, now uh, he's going to actually cut this, and uh, so he has actually enough space uh, to uh, you know use this cable to you know crimp it. Okay, so now he's going to uh, cut this uh, band. Sometimes it's actually wire, or sometimes it's actually just like a uh you know so now he is after he's cut it let me just carry forward bit okay so these are actually uh four set of pair is set of pair actually has a two cable you can see uh every single pair has a white color okay so meaning to say uh if there is a blue then it has a white blue if it's an orange then it's a white orange if it's a green then it has a white green if it's a brown then it has a white brown okay because uh, every single set has a one white cable, and this is not a fully white. Uh, once it's actually uh, you know separated out, you will be able to see that uh, he just cut it to make it shorter. Okay, so now he is going to uh, you know unpair it these two. Once he's unpaired these two, he, this pair will become a green and white green. Okay, similarly, once he actually unpaired to all, uh, this is a orange white orange. Okay. Okay, this is a green, white, green, and next one he, he does same way. It's actually blue and white, blue. Okay, same way the last pair when he does is basically brown and white, brown. Okay, and he uh, you know make it uh, sharp, smooth, and make it parallel. Okay, because later he needed cable you know to uh, push through the connector. Okay. So now he will actually cut it. So these are actually, uh, you know, uh, eight cable, brown, white, brown, green, white, green, blue, white, blue, orange, and white, orange. So these are the eight cable that he has it, okay? So uh, he will actually cut this uh, using a cutter to make sure that all the cable are uh, equal, okay? All the cable are equal and easy, and he will be able to push through 
the RJ45 connector. This is how he is going to cut it. Okay. So after his cut, make sure do not remove your finger from here. Okay. So there, there is a sequence. I'll show you the sequence, how this sequence is supposed to be. And once the uh, cable actually you have said it properly in sequence, now he is going to use RJ45 connector to push through. Okay. So he will push this inside to RJ45 connector. Can you see it? So this is RJ45 connector. Okay. So this is metal side. You will actually push through inside. There is a sequence. I will tell you the sequence. What exactly the sequence? Okay. Then uh, he'll push it all the way to the inside. Okay. Make sure that there is an iron pin at top is touch. Okay. So you'll push it, and uh, this is how where you actually need to uh, cut the cable. Make sure that insulator comes up to this level. Okay. So insulator cannot be here. Huh? So insulator up to this level. So you have to cut and uh, get the enough space so that this, uh, you know, RJ45 connector, the inside all the wire go all the way to the top and insulator come up to this, uh, you know, uh, this side. Now he will actually push this, uh, put it inside the uh, crimping tool. Okay. Then punch it. Once it's punch it, what happened? They are, you see, these are all the iron, you know, uh, pin. This is actually cap, uh, you know, in, in, in Bangla, I'm probably the dot. So, when you punch it, the camping tool is the dot, the camut, the shop, all the cable is there. So, it's like a teeth to bite all the cable accordingly. Okay, so the head has a teeth. Okay, the pin here is the teeth. So, and uh, once you actually put through the crimping tool, uh, let me show you. So, now this is the, uh, let me just bring it forward. So this is a crimping tool, uh, as I shared earlier. Let me show you this crimping tool again. This is a crimping tool. So you will use the crimping tool. Again, I share earlier, crimping tool has the RJ45, you know, uh, hole to actually crimp. And this one is RJ11 cap for LAN cable or the TNT cable or call, you know, telephone cable. So it's actually two, uh, you know, uh, uh, cap to crimp. One is RJ45, the bigger one. The smaller one is RJ11 for the telephone cable. Okay. So now you actually use that RJ45 connector, put it inside the cap, then actually press it. Let's take a look. Okay. So now he put it this all the way here. Okay. Then press with the both side finger. Once it's actually pressed harder, what exactly happened? You know, inside actually he has a uh, some uh, you know pin to bite the all the cable. I wish I can you know show you physically, uh, but uh, this is how it is. Once actually is a press it, so uh, the teeth actually is bite all the cable one by one. It, it's actually very simple. Uh, there are um, you know uh, many video is uh, on the uh, YouTube. You can actually take a look uh, to memorize and see. Okay, let me go back to my screen. Is that very difficult? No. Okay, so uh, now uh, let's uh, jump to the uh, one more or thing. Now we are going to be go a bit deeper. Okay, so uh, why is been deeper? Because uh, uh, now, uh, when you actually transfer a uh, packet or data from one PC to another PC, or you download some data or software from internet or somewhere, so this data actually is transmitted from one point to the another point. Okay, so when data transmitted from the one point to the another point, let's say for example, uh, this is your office at Changi, this is your office at Ai Raja. Okay, and this uh, two side is connected with a single internet. Okay, uh, LSP or some other network way. So now you, you know, send some traffic or you, you know, send some packet from here to this computer or this PC. Okay, so in the data transfer happen from here to here, there is many things happen within the network. So what exactly happened? So in this, we call it actually packet, packet transfer from one point to the another point. In this packet, actually, when the transfer happen, it's happened over the seven layer. This is what we call OSI layer. 
in short open system interconnection okay so the osi layer is actually a model that actually discovered by cisco okay same okay so this layer actually has a seven layer so there is a physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer, application layer so all those packet from one computer to another computer the data transmission happen over the seven layer it's cross then it goes from you know the packet header is goes from actually the you know the client to the c router okay or uh, endpoint router then it goes to the b uh, who is provider exchange uh, okay it may be the single provider exchange from bukitima you know changi access to all the way to the jorong or bukitima then it goes to the your office c router okay then it goes to your pc or server so and if this packet transfer from one computer to the other computer within the network connection is goes through the seven layer okay so there are uh, the so the easiest uh, i mean this is a osi layer the layer uh, is actually uh, you know the discover by uh, uh, the cisco okay uh, and uh, this is we call it the osi layer there is actually also tcp ip layer as well okay but tcp ip is most mass some of the layer here is a seven layer tcp ip layer is five layer but this is uh, you know we say five or seven is again is the same basically is mass some of this la uh, layer and is transferred data from one side one computer to other computer so it could be lan uh, over uh, you know network transfer or it could be one or it could be even satellite okay so now we know about the lan we know about the one you know uh, we learn about the you know even uh, now we will learn about the satellite so when you have a uh, connection or uh, computers uh, you know that's connected to the multiple office okay you can use a uh, singtel or let's say for example you have a friend at uh, changi you have a friend at uh, you know maybe at uh, uh, jorong you are actually making call so the call goes from the singtel or star hub or m1 right but what happens when you have a friend or family at bangladesh and you are making call so does that call go to the singtel because in between there are many country the call goes to right so either is call go to the submarine cable okay or it goes to the satellite okay so uh, now let's say for example if i make a call from here to bangladesh it may be go to the submarine cable or fiber uh, you know fiber broadband or we, we call it mpls land okay but let's say for example i'm making a call and my brother are middle of sea so when he is a middle of sea there is no way he has a physical connection from here to here right or when i'm making a call my brother is in inside the singapore airlines and flying halfway to bangladesh or india right he is on the sky so there is no singtel or m1 connection connectivity on the uh, sky so this is where we use the satellite and this is why for all the uh, you know ship uh, airplane they rely on satellite or even remote island they actually rely on satellite for the internet connectivity okay so now what exactly the satellite so that means in satellite provide a, you know a broadcasting to maybe a tv so uh, all of us watch the uh, television right so the television we watch uh, you know different uh, channel so that's also come from satellite okay then uh, when you uh, you know uh, there could be a, a satellite signal actually sent from satellite then there is a receiver side as well uh, different on different type of uh, satellite and different type of frequency used for the different purpose like for example one type of satellite used actually for the uh, tv frequency to transmit another type of satellite or uh, you know band used for the internet access another side of satellite used for the gps tracking you know when you see the grab or uber we see that you know where the uber car is we can see from uber apps right how can you see that because of the satellite satellite is able to get the device uh, we call it gps location and it's able to show me how far that uh, grab car or tada car or even the comfort delgo car and based on the gps location is able to calculate the duration okay so let's take a look what is satellite and how does it use that okay so a satellite is actually context of a space flight okay uh, it's an object uh, that actually plays in orbit or known as a sky right so on the sky i actually place is basically follow a orbit way so that that means that for the satellite 
to move around it also has a path shosh bashe bolte gele satellite akashe jokhon move kore tar ekta nijeshyo rasta ache it has a its own road to follow that's why satellite does not collapse with others in fact not only the satellite all the airlines okay you never even thought of you know uh, when i'm actually flying from singapore to bangladesh or india how come there is so many flight on the sky but does not crash each other right there is so many you know uh, aeroplane on the sky but never crash each other because aeroplane also has a road to follow even there on the sky but it has a virtual road to follow okay so every single airlines or flight they have their own road okay maybe you know 30000 feet above and you know uh, the the gps location so they, it has own route to follow similarly satellite also has own route to follow okay when the satellite is on orbit okay so there are mainly three different type of satellite services available is called the fixed uh, satellite services also known as fss there is a mobile satellite services is called mss and there is a broadcast satellite services is called bss okay so the bss are mostly used for the broadcasting for the tv channel and other frequency okay so now each satellite has maintain is four different type of frequency okay why this is important to know okay let's take a look what is this frequency so let's say for example satellite uh, frequency uh, the fast frequency is called the c band c band may basically used to provide the lower power transmission over the power in the wide graphical you know geographical area okay let's say for example um, the military actually used for this kind of uh, c band uh, satellite to track you know uh, where their enemy location is or where their you know all, all those military equipment located at the east so they use this uh, c band there is another band is called the co band okay offer for high transmission for the uh, you know uh, power over the smaller geographical area okay the the third one is actually most popular one is called k band uh, you might have heard actually in uh, bangladesh also send a satellite uh, is called bangobondhu satellite so actually is used for the k band how do we know that because the k band offer the high transmission lower power is basically mainly used for high speed internet video conferencing and multimedia application so basically those satellite is used for the internet is basically called k band okay so there is also l band which is used for the mobile application such as you know uh, many times aeromedical communication and you know uh, for various of the grounding equipment like for example when uh, a ship is you know at the middle of the sea uh, it also uses a satellite for its own uh, the location to and as well as to communicate with the other you know ship or other you know grounding area or even control tower okay similarly like for example air, air, airplane is used actually multiple satellite frequency one frequency when you use internet or youtube inside the air, aircraft is used actually the k band so when you use actually uh, you know uh, aircraft uh, the airport control tower you know track where this aircraft now is actually use the l band so it has actually different band frequency to use for the different purpose okay so similarly like you know uh, when we have a, a dish and the dish actually receive a satellite signal uh, you know for the all those uh, uh, you know uh, tv channel is also uh, used for the broadcasting purpose uh, for those uh, uh, co band or the c band okay so there are uh, many uh, different types so just to uh, before i uh, jump the there are many type of satellite okay uh, earlier i share about the commercial satellite uh, here i said commercial satellite why did i say commercial satellite commercial satellite is basically those satellite that provider sell to us okay so that means uh, maybe uh, the it could be imasat or you know it could be british telecom or it could be trans telecom or all those telecom companies who are actually provide the satellite services to other company other you know uh, arithmetical or uh, maritime uh, company so they use commercial satellite then what are the other type of satellite there is a uh, one satellite called private satellite so like for example when uh, telsa you know uh, owner actually he use his own satellite for his own uh, alan uh, you know uh, and mask actually use uh, for his own satellite for his own resource you know 
So uh, that's called a private satellite. When uh, Pentagon uses a satellite, uh, you know, for American Ministry of Defense, they, uh, the satellite is known as a, uh, you know, uh, Air Force satellite, or it could be defense satellite, okay, or it could be, you know, a military satellite. So there are government satellite, there are, you know, a military satellite, there are private satellite, there is a commercial satellite. So those actually used for the internet and others known as a commercial satellite. So uh, if you cross uh, somewhere at the, I think, uh, Bukit Tima, you will see uh, Sintel has a satellite park, okay? Uh, many of you, if you cross, uh, I think, uh, SLE to all the way to the uh, BKE, uh, you will see on the right side, on top of the hill, there is actually a satellite park, uh, you know, uh, that is a Sintel satellite park. So a uh, satellite has actually two parts. Uh, one is uh, sender, one is receiver. So uh, this is a sender actually send the signal and the below there is a receiver, uh, what we call as a dish antenna, right? So the, there are different type of, uh, you know, uh, 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 dish or antenna is there to receive the signal. Now in the satellite, if you see satellite looks like this, okay? Uh, key thing that you will notice on the arm, left and right side, okay? This arm is basically a solar panel. Okay, why he need the solar panel? Because over there, there is no cable, there is no electricity. So he need to sustain, right? So he need to have electricity so that, uh, you know, uh, the, this is a compounder and inside here, there are multiple computer, you know, and those computer are used low electricity. So basically the solar panel actually generate, uh, you know, uh, from the solar energy is generate electricity, it resorb it and actually it's use that electricity to run all the computers and also run the you know the transmitter who transmit the signal and use for the different purpose okay so one of my friend was asking you know uh nazmul bhai uh, if my computer uh, problem i call dell or cisco they come what happened actually when satellite problem you know who come i know who call and actually who go there because by the time we go from, you know, maybe US to satellite, it will take very long days, right? Few months. So that means the satellite will be down for a long time, right? Because there's, there's no people around this area actually to come and help him, right? So because the satellite inside actually have a robotic arm. So they actually control it from the control center remotely. They access with a remote control or actually it's called a, a virtual private network, VPN to control all those. And there are actually a different type of arms, you know, or robotic arms to actually control from inside, okay? And uh, the, each of the satellite uh, has a certain maintenance window, certain time which actually gets shut down, okay? Or uh, save the power, then another satellite take over its role, okay? So they also, you know, uh, it's not running always. So um, when they has actually have multiple satellite work together and they take rest, okay? Just like a human, you know, when we work harder, we need to take rest or we need to sleep, right? I cannot work for continuously, you know, 72 hours. After I work for eight hours, I need to come back home and I need to take rest, right? So they also does it, okay? But they, they, there is a highly exclusively equipment they use for the satellite. But, you know, uh, the, the most common use purpose is basically connecting to the aircraft, connecting to the, the you know, ship, you know, connecting to the, you know, uh, uh, the receiver uh, to, you know, for either GPS location or even for the internet. Uh, let's take a break before I jump. Show by the Is it too much? No, sir. We have. Is it very boring? Please uh, do let me know, actually, you know. It's a personal yes, 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 yes. What is the I said, I'm not sure if you have a world with a jet to network, as a shop cable, but satellite, I'm not sure if you have a mobile network, but I'm not sure if you have a mobile network. i আমার কোশ্চেনটা ছিল আমরা যে নেটওয়ার্কগুলো ইউজ করি আমরা যতটুকু জানি সবগুলো পুরো ওয়ার্ল্ডে কেবলের মাধ্যমে বিভিন্ন দেশে কানেক্ট হইছে নেটওয়ার্কগুলো পরে হয়তো বা সিঙ্গেল বাই এমএম যার যার এটা নেটওয়ার্ক দিয়া টাওয়ার দিয়া আপনি সব পুরো দেশ ছড়াই দিছে আর কি আমার প্রশ্নটা হচ্ছে কি স্যাটেলাইট থেকে কি এরকম কোন নেটওয়ার্ক আছে যে সরাসরি ওই জায়গা থেকে আমরা যে 
আচ্ছা আপনারা ওই দেয়ার ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি এক্সিবিশন দ্যাট হ্যাপেন এভরি ইয়ার ইন সিঙ্গাপুর ইস কল কমনিক এশিয়া ডাস এনি ওয়ান রিমেম্বার কমনিক এশিয়া ওকে সো নেভার মাই let me share my screen again i want to show you something very interesting very very interesting uh, uh sorry there are a few uh, couple of the question that was been raised i couldn't able to address let me just take it one by one uh, somebody ask is our mobile charger cable also same as network cable okay মোবাইল চার্জার কেবেল ইস বেসিক্যালি ইলেকট্রিক্যাল কেবেল ঠিক আছে বেসিক্যালি আপনার ইলেকট্রিসিটি ট্রান্সমিট করতেছে আপনার ওই ডাইরেক্ট আপনার ইলেকট্রিসিটি হোম কানেকশন থেকে আপনার মোবাইলে ঠিক আছে বাট মোবাইল কি বলে যে ইলেকট্রিসিটি দেয়ার আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি এসি ইলেকট্রিসিটি দেয় ডিসি ইলেকট্রিসিটি ওকে সো ডিপেন্ড অন হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ডিভাইস ক্যান টেক দ্য পাওয়ার ওকে then uh, you will see there is a uh, electric socket that actually transmit the power based on the mobile device can tolerate with okay if this guy cannot tolerate high power if you connect directly uh, you know uh, customize cable and use this it may be burn out right so basically it's convert and uh, use the transmitter to transmit and convert this so it's the electricity cable so the network cable is been different than the electricity cable okay but the network cable can be used to transfer to electricity also that's what i earlier explained okay so network cable has a you know eight pair and actually four used for the data and four is ideal or the other four can be used for power as well so this is where is called poe power over ethernet okay so there are some uh, cctv where it has a one single lan port or there is a access point আপনি যদি ইফ ইউ গো টু দ্য এনি অফ দ্য ইউনিভার্সিটি ইউ উইল সি দ্য হোয়াইট কালার ইউ নো দ্য ওয়ারলেস অ্যাক্সেস পয়েন্ট অন দ্য সিলিং সো দ্যাট কাইন্ড অফ অ্যাক্সেস পয়েন্ট হ্যাজ এ ওয়ান কানেকশন অনলি অ্যান্ড দ্যাট কানেকশন ইজ বেসিকলি পাওয়ার ওভার ইথারনেট সো দ্যাট মিনস ইন দ্য সিঙ্গেল ক্যাবেল প্রোভাইডিং দ্য পাওয়ার প্লাস ইলেকট্রিসিটি টুগেদার ওকে সো দ্য ইলেকট্রিসিটি ক্যাবেল অ্যান্ড নেটওয়ার্ক ক্যাবেল ইজ বি ডিফারেন্ট ওকে সো লেট মি সি এনি আদার কোয়েশন সো ফার আই মিস ওয়ার কালার সিকুয়েন্স ফ্রম রাইট টু লেফট আচ্ছা ওয়ার কালারটা আমি মাত্র দেখাচ্ছি সরি আমি এটা ভুলে গেছিলাম শেয়ার মাই স্ক্রিন সো দেয়ার আর থ্রি ডিফারেন্ট টাইপ অফ ইউ নো ক্যাবেল দ্যাট উই ক্যান ক্রিম ওর কাস্টমাইজ ওয়ান ক্যাবেল ইস কল দা স্ট্রেট ক্যাবেল ওকে লেট মিন শো ইউ ওকে সো স্টিল ইজ ভেরি স্মল সো দেয়ার থ্রি টাইপ অফ ক্যাবেল দেয় ওয়ান ইস কল দা স্ট্রেট ক্যাবেল দেয় আনাদার ওয়ান ইস কল দা ক্রস ওভার ওকে there is another one is called roll over so there is three different type of let me see another better picture uh, yeah so uh, there are known as a, a different standard like t568a uh, okay uh, or uh, so basically this is uh, the standard uh, cable uh, the ethernet cable uh, so these are the sequence from 1 to 8 you know uh, and this is actually called crossover cable okay so if you just use uh, google uh, to get to know exact sequence okay that uh, what is the difference between a uh, straight cable and crossover cable and what is the color combination you will actually get this uh, sequence so basically is a uh, uh, one goes to three uh, you know two goes to six so one two is goes to the other point actually one goes to three two goes to six and uh, then there is uh, another two cable who is is basically uh, let me see yeah so one two uh, one goes three uh, and two goes actually six similarly the other side one goes to actually three two goes to six okay the other four is ideal this is a straight cable okay uh, this is crossover cable so the crossover cable is almost opposite okay so where do you need the straight cable and crossover cable straight cable is you are connecting from one laptop to a switch and crossover cable actually you are using for certain specialized equipment to connect it when you are connecting to the server console with a, you know a db9 or db45 you will need the a crossover or rollover or cable so in the past we used to use a crossover cable to connect to laptop uh, because state cable doesn't work so we use the crossover cable but now it actually uh, the you know technology is so advanced that actually is able to use state cable and crossover cable it works on the both okay 
So there is a rollover cable, which is actually uh, designed for a specific server to the DB9 or DB15 to be connected. Okay. So let me see any other question. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now let me show you, uh, somebody asked this question. Uh, if you go to here, there is a website called submarinecablemap.com. Okay. So earlier I have actually shared with you that the whole world, uh, that all those uh, city is connected with the submarine cable, it goes below the sea. Okay. Uh, when I came to the Singapore uh, 2006, uh, this was my job. So actually, uh, you know, our company provide a submarine cable connected to the 244 countries. Okay. So, uh, so basically, when you make a call from Bang uh, Singapore, let me go to back to Singapore. So, Singapore should be somewhere here. Somebody is talking. Can you please mute it? You got a balls and need to meet for them. Please unmute her. So, uh, it would say a submarine cable map. Uh, it's a publicly accessible. Okay, after the Jan. Uh, submarinecablemap.com okay so ekhane apni dekhte paben je bangladesher sathe india sathe kun kun desher world er ki bole submarine cable connected ache so is a submarine cable gulo so these are the submarine cable uh, the cable goes actually below the sea uh, if you notice this is a you know bay of bengal uh, bangobosagar so uh, these uh, from cox bazar the cable goes to the all the way to you know uh, actually it goes to the all the way to the singapore okay so is a Malaysia, you know, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, the whole world submarine cable you can see from here. Okay. And you can even, even see, you know, where is the hub, hub side. What do you mean hub? Hub, if you actually click it here, uh, this guy might be Chennai. Okay. So where actually most of the internet connectivity is been established. And this should be somewhere in Mumbai. Okay. So this is India. This is Bangladesh. Definitely you can see this guy actually is in the Cox Bazar. So there's many times, you know, those are from Bangladesh, you know that actually, you know, the, our cable has been cut, you know, because of a shark actually bite the cable and the whole the internet got you know, shut down or slow because uh, all the bandwidth has been switched back to the satellite and satellite is damn, damn expensive and satellite internet are much, much slower. Okay. So, but fiber optic, the broadband connection or we, what you call the submarine cable or is also known as the MPLS. It's connected okay so these are high data bandwidth let's say for example you know 100 gb data transfer happening from here to here this is myanmar you know then it goes back all the way to uh, singapore this is malaysia where is singapore singapore should be somewhere here uh, it, can, it, it can possible shark will cut the cable uh yes it is possible so basically, they, they usually use the cable to go all the way below the sand. So the shark, you know, don't see the cable is exist. Okay. Unless there is, you know, uh, overflow, even sometimes actually they use a uh, heavy, uh, 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 you know, stone to, you know, hold the cable and cable goes all the way to the below to the sand or, you know, uh, uh, so, so that actually the, you know, uh, the big fish like shark cannot see where the cable is. Okay. So this is a whole worldwide uh, cable termination. This is very, very interesting actually. And, uh, you know, I play with this map almost, you know, two to three years. Uh, whenever I heard that, you know, Hong Kong, uh, this cable has been terminated. I actually go and dig it, which cable, you know, shark bite to that got it disconnected. I mean, it's very interesting actually. Yeah, so these are all satellite, I mean, the uh, submarine cable, or we all known as MPLS backbone and where all the data transfer happen. So, and, uh, you know, my role was actually to make sure that this uh, submarine cable data is been secure. No one can hack it. Okay. So, but this again, um, the, then why do we need the satellite? Okay. We still need the satellite because these submarine connection are not accessible to every single island in the whole world. This is the first reason. Second reason, when uh, this is the Indian Ocean or, you uh, know, Arabian Ocean, uh, you know, South Atlantic Ocean, when the ship is here, like, for example, here, the ship doesn't have a submarine cable, right? The ship definitely need a satellite. The same, the aircraft when it's moving, there is no cable connection. The aircraft needs a satellite. 
So there's many reason it's near satellite and there's many remote island doesn't have a direct connection. Okay, uh, just like example, you know, uh, I went to uh, 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 the island in Bangladesh is called Nizum Deep, okay, uh, near uh, Noakali. So when I went there, that Nizum Deep, it was uh, 2001 or 2002. And during that time, there was no electricity to that island. Okay, because the island was separated from the you know, city. So there's many island doesn't have a, you know, maybe electricity or even internet, definitely they have to rely on satellite. Okay, so this is very interesting. I won't spend too much time here because we, I have lots of things to cover, but uh, let me just keep this uh, URL link inside the chat panel. So please go through it. Uh, you will learn how this whole world, uh, submarine cable has been connected across the world. Okay. This is submarine cable, also known as a MPLS backbone. There are many, uh, this, this, uh, you know, this type of map are available, uh, okay? Uh, but uh, this is the one uh, mostly I use. Uh, there is another one is this, uh, okay? Uh, but again, uh, there are many different type of uh, submarine cable that actually you can take a look and play around it, okay? So let me just go back to the author, okay? So uh, this is why the submarine uh, cable or, or uh, uh, you know, uh, satellite has been used because there are many areas that doesn't have a coverage like aircraft, you know, ships. Okay, we still need to have and if the you know submarine cable has been cut, uh, we still need to rely on satellite. But satellite are very very expensive. Okay, and uh, since satellite is very expensive, so uh, not everyone can afford the satellite. Okay, but this uh, MPLS uh, or submarine cable. Definitely, every country, every city will be able to afford it. So let's move forward. Uh, I think we don't have a, we have a half an hour time. We have to cover. Okay, now we jump back to domain and hosting. Okay, what is the domain? Uh, a domain is actually a name, is an identifier, a string, a define you know, or realm, a administrative autonomous or authority or the control within the internet. So uh, in short, uh, domain is basically at this. Okay. A domain like, for example, www.24share.org is at this, okay? Like, for example, uh, uh, you look for the 24share.org to a uh, internet portal, then the question is, how does that guy know where my, uh, so for example, you go to the www.24asia.org, Okay, so how does this uh, internet know where is my website has been located? Okay, basically this name known as a DNS, okay, and is basically domain name system is uh, transmitted uh, from a IP to a static address. Okay, I'm just the short after on a Singapore plus whole world, uh, we use actually called postal code, right? So let's say, for example, uh, my house postal code is 543275. Uh, uh, and if I use my uh, postal code, I can find where is my house is, right? So this postal code is actually an address. Now, if I don't use my postal code, I can also use, right? 275 compass by link, right? So this is a text or an identifier. Voice break, uh, voice break. Hmm. Uh, so uh, what I'm saying that the the uh, the identifier. So what is identifier? So uh, there is one thing that we know as an IP address. Okay. So earlier we have uh, discussed and described actually uh, how does um, the network connectivity works. Uh, you know through the IP address and so on. So, but when you go to the www. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, facebook.com, right? Or let's say, for example, www.cna.com. Cna.com. So basically, the CNA, this is an address, but uh, in internet or the server or the computer language, they don't understand what is CNA and where this site is located. So, so internet doesn't know where this CNA is located, okay? So he needs someone 
okay he needs someone uh, to tell him when people look for cna you go to the server that located at bono vista to this rack this floor and this rack and this server and this computer okay who does that that does actually a dns server okay when i look for the www you know channelnewsasia.com to the internet there is a server known as a dns server he will receive it and he will tell that okay when somebody look for the cna you know dot com so it actually goes to a ip address and look for this ip address and then this ip address is located at bono vista uh, you know equinix building level for this server you know uh, this uh, location so that does uh, you know the that responsibility does a yeah, dns server then what is the dns okay so let's go to the o is okay so then somebody is responsible to find okay a ip address and trans translate it any of those address okay let me go to another server so that means uh, when i wanted to a uh, host my website to somewhere in internet i need to have a two thing one is the name what should i use the name to register so maybe www.nazmulkhan.com so this is the name second thing i have to build a website and my website has to be keep in one of the server then in the dns server i have to tell when somebody look for the nazmul.com please go to this server okay so let's uh, take a look uh, i have a website the website is called nazmul khan dot com okay so when somebody look for you know uh, nazmul khan okay uh, i have registered my uh, dns and i told my dns server okay uh, whoever look for my website nazmul dot khan my website is hosted on usa california to this server this located this ip address please redirect their request to this particular location so that people can see my website okay so this nazmulkhan.com is a dns entry that i have registered on a dns server then this website this page that i develop and i have hosted this website in a usa california one of the data center okay so i need i need to have a address and i need to have a website that people will see so this is the two part that i need okay now how do i register a dns name in that case okay so there are many website and page where you can register okay so this is a do domain name later i'll come back to the registration again uh, web hosting earlier just explained you have to develop a site and you have to host the site you know one of the uh, you know server okay so that is called web hosting okay so dns can be internal can be external so what is means uh if your company within the office you have a dns server and you look for www you know uh, maybe a cna.com and you can only able to access office but when you go to the home www.cna.com you cannot access it meaning to say the website is been hosted within your office only so this is called dns internet uh, internet okay so there is another one actually called internal another one is called external which is public dns okay so then uh, the dhcp is actually dynamic host you know uh, configuration protocol so uh, basically uh, every one of us when using a, a wireless router at home or office uh, you are actually getting ip address uh, to your phone or a laptop so that is actually a is coming from the dhcp server so that ip address actually uh, you know uh, in the dns server so the ip and the name is been registered that i will show you shortly now what is a c panel c panel is actually a control panel where you can manage your own website or multiple website okay that we will see shortly now where do you register the domain there are many websites where you can actually register the domain you can go to the godaddy.com you can go to the bluehost you can go to the namecheap you can go to the extrabyte and so on and so on and so on these are the sites where you can actually register a dns okay then these are the service provider also provide you a space to host your website meaning to say i have developed my website my website is maybe a 10 megabyte file or maybe 5 or 10 file 
that website, that folder, I need to keep it on a server on the internet because if I keep it on my laptop and my laptop shut down, no one can access it, right? So I must keep my website to somewhere in the server so that everyone can access it. So that is called hosting. So you have to buy a space from those hosting provider to host it, okay? So we'll check some of the DNS, uh, you know, who is the owner of the DNS, we can check and find out. We can uh, check some of the website, uh, you know, uh, if there is a website has a virus, or we can actually check from there, okay? And we'll also see how to install the WordPress to a site, okay? Uh, we have less than half an hour, so I need to make it fast, okay? So there, uh, there are C panel where actually you can install the WordPress, I will show you shortly, okay? And this is a basically WordPress site, and the WordPress has on the left side is a control panel, okay, or menu, where actually you can customize all your website, page, contents, uh, you know, a picture, video, and so on and so on. You can also create multiple users, you can create uh, install multiple plugin, you can, you know, uh, add multiple users so that multiple users access your website. You know, you can do many kind of customization. And this is the most easiest way to maintain the website using the WordPress uh, tools. Okay, then we'll see the tools and how the tools can be installed shortly. Okay, so but before we go, so uh, now it's actually lab exercise. I'll jump to the lab exercise. Uh, we'll check what is the DNS station, how to do the web hosting, how to install WordPress, and how to do the basic administration of the WordPress. Okay, let's jump to the lab. Okay, so this is uh, my website that I've registered. So now I will go to the one of the website to register a DNS. For example, let's go to the GoDaddy. So uh, GoDaddy is a very well-known uh, American company. Uh, they have an office in Singapore as well. So uh, you know, uh, you can buy any DNS from here. Okay, so let me uh, buy a DNS from here. So I go to the- Domain hosting, can you do Let me see Mahin. Uh, mahin.com let me see whether it's available or not huh? when i search here mahin.com it will search it will tell whether mahin.com has been taken or it is available and how much okay wow mahin.com is a premium domain it's asking for fifteen thousand eight hundred seventy dollar okay but mahinbd.com is only eight dollar okay so i can just click this guy so myhinbd.com is going to be my domain registration. It's only eight sing dollar per year. By the way, it's for first year, and second year is going to be twenty five point two three dollar. Okay, so it's also proposed myhinn.com. Okay, uh, the first year is eight dollar. The second year onward is going to be twenty five point two three dollar. So this is GoDaddy. Okay. You can just click it. Let's say, for example, myhinbd.com. You just click it here. So it will come to the, your chart. Okay. It will ask you, do you want to buy for one year? Okay. Or you want to buy for multiple years? Okay. You can buy for one single year or you can actually buy for multiple years. Sorry, let me go back to my here. So this is a start. Okay. Uh, you can buy for five years. You can buy for whatever one single year as well. Okay. It's up to you. Okay. Uh, so, oh, sorry, this is a hosting, uh, this is a domain. So this is, you can select for one year. So one year is supposed to show the $8, uh, 1990 okay. So a renewal is going to be a 25 40 cent, $25 or 47 cent, okay. So this is a hosting. You can buy hosting also, or you can actually delete it, you don't need hosting. You can just buy domain itself. Then do the continue, okay. So it's $8, so if you just buy it, from here, if you actually buy for five years or 10 years. Sir, I'm domain tech in our key carriers. Could the person? Monocoin, I've kept on website, Nija, personal to website, Banabed, and we have side a logon apake, after some of the Janbe. Yes, for example, the one I'm a business career, simple business, secretary Yami, would add Kura Dilly, ten minutes to Janata. Correct, correct, correct. For example, uh, Singtel. And this, uh, sir, what is Google is Yes, yes. Uh, because anyone who wanted to search uh, using uh, your, your company name, they can actually search, you know, uh, <clears throat> then actually he will get all the details. So like, for example, this is a Singtel is a company. 
So uh, they, whatever they wanted to sell, they keep it everything to their website. Okay. Now people go here actually to buy online. And this website is uh, Singtel actually buy Singtel.com this under a uh, DNS server. And then the Singtel website has been hosted in one of the server. It could be Singtel inside their own server. So you need a space, you need the name registration. Both you need in order for your personal website, for your company website, for your organization website to be host in the internet so that everybody, when you are middle of night, you are sleeping or your computer is shut down, still somebody can see. Like people can watch news, you know, people can see, uh, you know, uh, they can do anything and everything in uh, to get to know more about your company. Okay, so you have a news portal, uh, or we have a you know twenty four share dot org, or we have actually my own personal uh, website. So when uh, people uh, go there, mind. org meaning what? Sometimes on the dekhi. Okay. Very good question. So uh, the domain has uh, many uh, uh, call uh, root. Okay, we call it root. Okay, so the last, you know, two digit or three digit, like for example, org or dot tv, dot info, dot com, dot net, these are the different route where DNS has been registered. So when you go to godaddy.com, for example, here, let me search for something else. Huh? Uh, 5G network, for example, huh? so 5G network.com. Okay, so you search it. Or if I just search for uh, 5G.com, it will tell me that 5G network, what are the things that are available? Okay. Uh, let me go to the another portal, maybe. Oh, name chip. Okay. So when I go, I search for. Uh, machine. Telecom. Okay, Mahin Telecom. I search it. So uh, it will tell if uh, how many you know DNS that is available. Okay. So uh, Mahin Tele dot com is available. Then dot net is available. Dot org is available. Dot ei dot is available. Dot east is available. You know there are many uh, you know different type of. Uh, you know, uh, the route is available that you can buy. Okay. Some are $4.98, some are $36, some are even more. Okay. So these are known. So who use it? ORG. ORG use for organization, like charity organization, for, you know, any type of organization use ORG. If the company service type is a network connectivity, they may use .NET. If the company is uh, commonly used, actually .com, like Facebook.com, Google.com, Yahoo.com, is .com is most popular one because it's a company as a corporation. They run .com. Okay. Then AI, uh, AI uh, is basically artificial intelligence because of uh, you know many of the company they would like to use the AI. Uh, there are some company use like for example NTB, uh, you know Boishaki TV, on those. They usually try to buy the DNS with .tv. Okay, there are some they use dot club. Okay, there are some country like for example Singapore use dot sg. Like for example, you go to the mom site, so it's mom dot gov dot sg. Why gov? Gov is known for government. So all the government organization they usually use dot gov and dot sg is for the Singapore domain. Okay, whenever you see any of the website. The last two digit is dot sg means is located in Singapore. If uh, dot bd means that actually website or DNS registered under that country itself. Okay, so uh, there are many different type of uh, there. So you go there, then you can actually click just uh, let's say for example I was looking for Mahin Tel, M A H I N T E L, search. Okay. Mahintel.com is available. If I click it, add to chart. So it's $8.98 for first year. Second year is going to be a $13.98. Okay. Then once I click it, uh, you know, I can go to the checkout. Okay. I can also buy a hosting because this name chip also provide a hosting. Okay. If I do a checkout, 
no uh, it will ask you do you want to just buy the domain name registration we want to buy privacy what is known as a privacy okay what is ssl ssl is https when you go to any of the website if the website is http okay is called not secure okay if the website is https is called secure so that means anything you uh, buy uh, must be https site if not whatever the credit card information you are typing or internet banking information you are typing over the internet anyone can hack it so https is secure channel is because you need to buy additional ssl license okay so the dns so now is a domain privacy what is domain privacy okay now let me go to one of website and i want to find who is the owner of that website okay so let's say for example i go to who is okay and i wanted to know who is the owner of prothumalo so i want to know who is the owner of prothumalo.com okay so prothumalo is the one of the most famous uh, bangladeshi newspaper in bangladesh or we can even use cna channel news asia uh, i can see that prothumalo is already been taken by somebody so who has taken this i wanted to know so i click on who is it will show me many information which is very very useful so the prothumalo.com was been registered in 2001 okay in the 18th june 2001 so the owner of the prothumalo has registered this domain 2001 since then no one is able to take this domain and this domain he already registered until 2027 after that in the 2027 he can renew for another 20 years okay so now you only know this is uh, located in dhaka bangladesh okay then if you go detail it only tell you maybe a dns server it doesn't tell any organization name uh, it just tell a domain something is just uh, say privacy it is give you a phone number which is, uh, believe us there is no details of the owner because he buy the dns with the privacy okay so when you use the privacy you have to pay some money the first year may be free okay subsequently you have to pay okay and uh, let's say it's a 12 dollar for privacy 9 dollar for the domain 9 plus 12 is you know uh, 23 dollar uh, 21 dollar that you have to pay okay so this is called privacy so now uh, this is a domain privacy has been applied so let me go back to another site where there is no privacy has been applied so i have a brother site is known as 1sbs.com so let go to my brother side and this side i know uh, is my cousin or uh, website and i know this side does not apply the privacy okay so this website has been taken by you know by my cousin so let go to the hoes and once i go to hoes i can see this website was registered in 2002 so my cousin has actually registered this dns in 2002 okay uh, when i was working under his company as a part time during my student life so at uh, 2002 he registered and he registered until you know 2022 uh, so then again he registered for 20 years he can extend it so if you go below you can see this uh, you know a website is registered under my cousin address at the philippine okay which is uh, queen city okay this is his house address at the Me uh, metro manila okay and this is his phone number and even you can see my cousin name okay atiku rahman you know this is name this is phone number and also the technical point of contact is my you know elder brother sajad khan no one is bs and is actually metro manila a queen city because they live in uh, metro manila okay so that means all these details is available okay and if somebody wants he can use this sajad at one sbs.com to you know send lots of spam email which is not really recommended okay so this is why when you buy a dns make sure that you buy the privacy so you if you buy the privacy your information personal information email address phone number no one will know okay it's hidden so that's known as a uh, domain privacy now apart from the domain privacy you also need to buy a hosting okay so you can buy a hosting like for example here is say $3.88 you click this guy so you uh, you have already got a, a hosting if you wanted to use let's say for example mahintel.com so the, maybe you know uh, abdul at mahintel.com and so on you want to have a specialized personal email so you can actually buy it first year is free second year you have to pay 38 dollar 80 cent you know you can buy the tvmium dns you can buy you know many others actually you can buy the vpn also 
okay so these are all add-on services so you add 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 then confirm the order then you just pay now once you have the dns okay and you have already buy the purchase the uh, domain hosting how do you host it let me now go back to my own website and control panel uh, this is recorded a session uh, this is not really recommended i'm sharing my personal information which is not really recommended but anyway i'll just do it uh, just for training purpose only so now i wanted to log in to my uh, you know uh, site control panel okay and see which of the website that i've posted here okay this is my user address password uh, okay and once i enter it i'll be able to log in directly to the control panel or the main dashboard okay once i log in there I'll be able to see whatever I actually buy all the DNS in one single place, and I will be able to see the website that I have hosted. So for those uh, you are not really familiar about the web hosting uh, website, you may get confused, uh, but there is nothing to confuse about. Uh, you know, anywhere you go, look for a website, even for street times, you know. or channel news asia or for any uh, you know uh, today news any website that you go uh, basically uh, is had two part one is the this dns domain name registration that uh, you know was been purchased from a domain uh, a dns server then this entire news portal website has been hosted to one of the server so you need to have a both side you know so that your company information, your news portal, your, you know, anything and everything that is accessible over the internet, okay? Then you can open earn the money from the ad spare, you know, but I'm not going to talk about this uh, course, okay? There will be a separate course for SEO and web development. We can actually talk about that, uh, you know, from the website, you can earn money by putting the Google advertisement, like these are the Google advertisement. And the more traffic comes, you know, the more you will earn, okay? But those are different. So uh, let's go back to my website. What happened to my name? Chief? Okay. So I've already logged in. Okay. Uh, basically, I've enabled two factor authentication. So whenever I log in, I, it will come an OTP to my laptop or uh, phone, and I'll log in it. So once I log in here, these are the DNS that I have registered. 20fusha.org, 20fusha.news, nazbul.khan.com, next even asia.com, 20fusha.tv. So these are all websites that I have registered under this. And if you notice, all those has a home and some icon. This is basically SSL. And this guy has a server icon, Stellar Plus, and none of them has hardware. So basically, I have brought a hosting also under this location. If you go here, expand it, uh, these are the services that I buy. So there is a hosting called Stellar Package. Then I can click here, Manage. So I'll be able to jump directly to my hosting server from here, okay? Once I click it here, uh, it will go to the next page and it'll tell uh, you know how I wanted to access to my hosting server. Do I want to access to the C panel? I will say, yes, I wanted to go to my C panel. Please go to C panel. Okay, so once I click it here, it will directly jump to my C panel from here directly. Okay, C panel is the control panel where I can host my own website, multiple websites. I can customize my own website and I can customize many other pages. Sorry, सब देखते पाई एक रिसेलर होस्टिंग चाहले जन का बिक्री कर दीते फर एक्साम्पल 
mahintel.com uh, mahin, mahin bollo je nabo bhai ami ekta website banaisi ami website ta host korbo thik ache ami chaile mahintel.com or website ta ami ekhane host korte parbo ebong mahin re ekta mahin you know bd@gmail.com access ta shudhumoto mahin er website access diye dite parbo bujhte parchen so apni chaile multiple ek site apni nije ek access korte parben ar chaile individual site ek ek jon ke access diye dite parben je apni jesten apnar choto bhai ke shudhumoto ei site e diben माल्टिपल that is multiple called DNS. multiple pay. multiple you have to buy separately okay so when you buy mahintel.com is mahintel.com if you want to go you know mobadoktel.com or uh, mobadoknet.com is another dns that you have to buy separately okay now there is a way to do it uh, you can for hosting you can buy for one single or you can buy reseller hosting where you can multiple server you can host but the dns is all are unique you have to buy one by one okay but it's not loading it yes because i have opened too many computers by the way apnar jodi ar kono karo question thake question korte paren while loading my uh, website it's taking too long by domain hosting er jinish gula to shudhu matro jara फ्रीलिंग from singapore to bangladesh or india okay you have given the name abc chemical so abc chemical is our own website you can just use abc chemical you know and you can host your website to paste so then your company you are the administrator okay now uh, there are freelancer actually who can develop a website and who can actually sell the website and let's say for example you have a company but i don't have expertise to develop a website so you can actually get freelancer to design a website for you and host okay so hosting you can actually give it uh, you know your own access to a freelancer so the freelancer can do so basically uh, if i go to the here so this is actually control panel is known as a c panel if i click at the file manager okay i will be able to see all the file okay so this is a c panel c panel has a many controls so this is a file manager this is a database manager these are actually the different tools and uh, this is email if i want to create my own email address it you know at let's say for example natmol at 24sha.org so i'll create there so i can actually do a multiple domain hosting here or i can do a sub domain here what is sub domain sub domain is let's say for example uh, you know uh, edu.24sha.org or maybe you know uh, intranet.24sha.org so these are all known as a sub domain so that in within the one domain you create a multiple smaller sub domain okay so then if you go all the way below uh, this is basically uh, you know a uh, software uh, location where you actually click and install the software okay so uh, let's say for example i want to install a wordpress i click it here okay so this is a automated installation there is another way called manual installation so what is manual installation manual installation is you have a hosting place you go that location you download the wordpress from here d o w n l o a d p r e w s so you write uh, download wordpress you go here you can actually download wordpress latest version from here and then uh, okay yeah so uh, you can directly install uh, you know to any of the recommended uh, site hosting provider or you can just click download wordpress 5.8.3 So you can manually, you know, download and install it, or you can do an automated installation. 
So what is automated installation? Automated installation is there is a plugin that already installed in the C panel. You click this WordPress. It will ask you where you want to install. You select the location. Okay, then uh, you know it will automatically you know, create the database users and it will install the WordPress. Okay, shortly I will log in a website to show you the how the WordPress located. Looking so uh, WordPress is a tools. Okay, it's allow you to manage the website. Okay, and uh, you know it, it's allowed to. Uh, manage the website from a one single panel so let's say for example uh, uh this is my website uh so i've already installed to this site uh wordpress and once i actually uh install the wordpress and then uh this is the wordpress okay uh the the tools that allow me uh, to host my website and manage it so if i go to uh appearance and theme i can actually go uh, select my theme that i have been developed or i have purchased from internet so this is my theme and here actually I can do the customization I can do so I can actually go to my page uh, all page and I'll be able to see uh, all my uh, website page so I have many pages here if I go to my home page and actually do uh, edit uh, from here this so for example I go to the home page okay so I go to the home page I can actually do uh, here Edit will elementor. So in my website, then uh, I'll be able to edit, you know, uh, whatever the thing that I wanted to uh, change picture, you know. Uh, so the WordPress is a tool that allow you to, uh, you know, modify the website or develop the website to customize the website and uh, avail you to, you know, install multiple theme, multiple plugin and uh, multiple thing. So this is my website where actually, uh, you know, 21st.org, uh, and uh, here I will be able to change the look and feel, color, text, and anything, everything. Okay. So uh, this is my website, and uh, you know, uh, over here actually I will be able to uh, customize the text, picture, you know. Uh, and uh, these tools is called Elementor. So it's actually uh, inside the WordPress I have installed the Elementor so that I'm able to change animation. I'm uh, able to change the text. You know, I, I can able to. Uh, customize the text and you know i can do anything and everything that i want and it has uh, many uh, plugin that which allow me to you know use multiple tools like event you know uh, multiple program to host and even i can actually uh, use uh, uh, e-commerce plugin to buy you know uh, or to sell anything e-commerce okay so it has many options so this is how actually i log into my uh, uh, WordPress site, exit to the dashboard. So once I actually exit from this tools Elementor, I can go back to go uh, to my uh, WordPress site. And I have actually many access control from here in the WordPress. Let me go to the home. Yeah, so this is a WordPress, uh, you know, site. And uh, WordPress has actually many plugin, you know, uh, there's thousand over plugin that you can actually do backup the entire website with one click. You can actually restore, you can migrate from the one server to the another server, and you can do many things. You can actually create the users, okay? And uh, you can actually give multiple friends to access to your WordPress site, and you can give a multiple role. That means you are the only super admin, and some of those actually, they come and actually post the article only. You can do that. There are many, you know, plugin allow you to control, to visualize, to do the animation, you know, uh, many other things. So this is what is known as a WordPress. WordPress is tools that allow you to customize, manage your website, and it allow you to install many plugins, change the theme, and you know, do the many customization. And go to the WordPress again. So uh, from this control panel, you know, I can. Um, uh, create as many databases as I want. I can, you know, a uh, host multiple uh, website that I want. Okay, yeah. So if I go to the my file manager, okay, it's just like your mobile. If you install a file manager uh, software to a mobi mobile uh, or a uh, an SD card, you'll be able to see all the file and folder. It's already eleven. Okay. So this is the last lab that I want to show. Sorry, the internet is a bit slow.
So uh, the, this is a WordPress tool that, uh, you know, you can do uh, anything and everything. You can post a new article, you can post event, you can create an event, you know, uh, you can upload video, audio uh, to showcase your company portfolio and anything, okay? So, so any questions so far on that WordPress? Uh, I will actually share a YouTube uh, video maybe uh, because my internet is not loading. I wish I can actually show how to install it step by step but there are many uh a video on the youtube that are available which actually allow you to see how to install the wordpress and how to host a website here but again the process is very same uh you know uh, you just need to go to the any of the domain registration portal uh, like godaddy uh, you need to buy the dns you need to buy the hosting once you buy these two things then you can actually host your website and you also may need to buy a template, website template from the different company. And once you buy the template, you have to customize your template to host your page. Just like, for example, earlier I show you a uh, Nazmul Khan uh, website. So basically I buy a DNS, uh, I buy a hosting, then I buy a template, then I customize my template to fit uh, my portfolio so that anyone and uh, you know everyone can actually see my portfolio over the internet, uh, which is called uh, nazmulkhan.com. Let me stop sharing it and go back to my slide again. One sec. Let's see what I have to slide. Okay. So, uh, okay, memory test. Let's ask the question. Huh? So the first question is, uh, what is the standard computer? Uh, the answer is B. Answer is B. Uh, yes, you're right. A uh, standard computer is actually a computer that does not have a network connection. Okay, very good. Second, who is, is not a benefit of networking? Is not a benefit. Who is, yeah. is not a benefit? A number is B. 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 Long monitoring. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, D. Number is D, large monitor. Large monitor is not a facility or is not a benefit uh, of yeah. a. Uh, sorry, uh, I think I'm talking to someone else. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the, yes, file sharing is a benefit, printer sharing is a benefit, internet sharing is a benefit, but large monitor is not a benefit of network. Okay, thank you. Very good. Number three. What is the key difference between domain and a workgroup network? Key difference. Printing. Can you do printing on the domain and workgroup? Is it the key difference? File copy. To get the internet. Okay. Centralized. Or centralized management. So which one is the key benefit or the key difference? A domain file network. Copy. First. B, 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 file copy. File copy. Yeah. File copy, you can do both. In the domain, you can also copy the file. Workgroup, you can also copy the file. To get in the C, is the correct answer. Okay. D. Okay. If the C doesn't happen, then is A. If A doesn't happen, then no, 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 sir, no, sir. This one C is the correct answer. No argument for this question. I say yeah, C is correct answer. I say C is I... a to get the internet. Uh, that is also a wrong answer because you can get an oh. internet and the domain. You can also get internet and the word group. So the correct answer correct. is D, centralized management. So in the domain controller environment, remember. A server that manages everyone, okay. So that's called domain control, uh, you know, or domain controller, okay. Uh, which is uh, in uh, Microsoft, we use Active Directory. So the centralized management is a key feature that differentiate from domain network versus what group network. What new is plain, but the domain network we have the centralized. Okay, let me just go back to the slide to just show you where I have explained early. Okay. Here. Okay. So a domain network has a centralized server where actually, you know, uh, it does a centralized management to the all the PC uh, where one group is a peer to peer. Everybody is equal. There is no boss. But here there is a boss. Okay. All the PC follow the boss. But here, peer to peer, nobody is boss. 
So the centralized management is something like a boss, is a you know, uh, like Active Directory or LDAP or area server. Okay. So let me go back to the second and last third question. Okay, the last question. What is the key difference of CAT5 and CAT6 cable? Okay, number A is expensive. Number B. Number D. 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 Number D. Number D. D. Okay. D. D. Yes, you are right. Number D, D, D is the data D, D, transfer. D. Because CAT5 can transfer the data up to 100 meg, but CAT6 uh, can CAT transfer 1000. Yes, correct. So that's all for today. Let